Shalom. First and foremost, as always, I want to give all the praise, honor, and glory to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rakakwadash. I want to say double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth through the Spirit. And I want to give a special peace and blessings and salutations to the hopeful elect. And Shalom to you, brothers out there that's pushing the truth on the highways and the byways, all right, in truth and sincerity, okay? And as you brothers can see from the thumbnail, um, I actually just got finished watching the uh, Elder Manatazak's Zox video, the uh, beloved brother from South Carolina. And um, he entitled the video, Look How Far the Lord Has Brought Us, okay? And I told him I was gonna do a, a quick response to it. And when you really think about it, okay, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai has brought us a long way, as the brother was mentioning, okay? Think about where you were in the world, man, you know? Think about how through think about how through you were, man. Think about the the uh the abominable things you used to do in the sight of the most high. All right. Now, yeah, we didn't know, you know, we didn't know that we were going off. And once we came into this truth, we understand that the things that we were doing, we was we was done, man. I mean, we was out there like wild beasts. Okay? Who was out there like a bunch of wild animals, man? Getting tattoos. All right, being just being vain, you know. Uh, hey, man, you could have been committing adultery in the world, cause that was a thing. I know that was a thing when I was coming up. Yeah, man, I hit, I hit his woman. Yeah. Or if a woman tells you that she got a man, well, what he, what he got to do with me? I mean, we was out there wilding, man. You know, the brother said he used to get his, <laughs> cause you know we're not supposed to get lineups, right? We ain't supposed to have them crispy ass edge ups. That's th th that's against the law. Okay, we're not supposed to mire the corners of our head and, and, and uh, shave our beards off. All right. I used to get a haircut every damn week. The brother Manatazak said he used to go to the barbershop twice a week trying to stay fresh, trying to, trying to, uh, now there's nothing wrong with being clean. Okay, we're, we're Israelites. All right. But we don't need to get a damn haircut twice a week, man. I'm trying to please the world, trying to please these damn women out here, man. Our eyes should be single. Our mindset should be towards Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai and how we could please him. Okay, there's nothing wrong with having nice things or whatever. All right. But there's a difference between having nice things and being vain. All right. Just just complete vanity, man. There's a difference. Okay. And there's a lot of other things that we did in the world that made us filthy, man. That made Yahweh Bahashim Yahweh Shai look down on us. And, and, and something told, you know, the Lord basically. I don't want to say something told the Lord, but, and I don't mean to rant, by the way, I'm a, I got some scriptures, but something, um, Yahweh Bashim Yahweh Shai, all right, he called us into this marvelous, into this marvelous work, okay, he called us, many are called, few are chosen, and right now, we're fighting to be chosen, okay, we're fighting to be chosen, man, now look at us, the Lord, have, uh, he chose us, he's cleaning, the, he's cleaned us up, now we think before we do certain things, we don't just willingly sin. We fear the Most High, which is ultimately the fountain of life. We fear Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. So now being in this truth, me speaking for myself, this is what my 11th year, I came in in, uh, no, this is my 12th year. I came in in 2009, so this would be my 12th, no, 11th year. Uh, 19, 20, 21, 11th year, yeah. So man, I, I, and me honestly speaking, man, I say, damn, the Lord brought me a far away, man. And that's the same way, that's the same thing that goes for you, brothers. All right, the Lord brought you a, a far away, okay? So after my, my, my four minute rant, all right? <laughs> this is uh, John chapter 15 and verse 16. It says, ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you. And this is Yahweh Shai speaking. And ordained you that ye should go, that ye should go and bring forth fruit. So we didn't choose we didn't choose the Lord, man, because ultimately what well, we had um dreams or dreams, so to speak, or we had um certain things in the world that we wanted to do. But the Lord stopped all of that. He said, No, you're gonna be my servant. I'm gonna use you to raise up the tribes of Jacob. I'm gonna I'm gonna use the tribes of Jacob to wake you up, and then I'm gonna use you to raise up the tribes of tribes of Jacob as well. The most high is a bad man, he brought us a long way. So ye have not chosen me, but I have chosen you and ordained you that ye should go and bring forth fruit. And that means what? You're supposed to go out on the highways and the byways 
uh, and fish for the hopeful elect and bring forth fruit. Okay, that's what we're supposed to do. And that your fruit should remain that whatsoever ye shall ask of the father in my name, he may give it you. These things I command you that ye love one another. And that's another thing that we lacked in the world. You know, well, I did, well, me personally, I didn't lack that trait because I wasn't like no grimy. I wasn't no grimy nigga in the world. You know, I would share things with my friends and stuff. But a lot of us, we had that uh, that 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 nigga like spirit, man. But when you came into the truth, you know, you eventually learn to love your brother. All right, that's another example of how the Lord has brought us a far way, man. Okay. And really, love is what? Keeping the commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. That's really what love is. That's why Yahweh Shai said, if you love me, keep my commandments. So love is really keeping the law, statutes, and commandments of Yahweh by Hashem Yahweh Shai. You know? These things I command you that ye love one another. It says, if you hate the world. So like, if the world hates you, ye know that it hated me before it hated you. If ye were of the world, the world will love his own. And that's the thing. We're not of this world, man. The Most High took us out of this world. We're not of this world anymore. Okay? And that's and, and we should be thankful that the Lord took us out of this world. Because look at the people in this world today, man. The Most High still got them stuck doing the same shit. But he actually elevated us. He gave us the spirit. Okay? So we thank Yahweh Shai that he brought, pulled us out of this damn world, man. And we don't want the world to love us, all right? Because we don't love this world. If you were of the world, the world would love his own. But because ye are not of the world, and this is the good point right here, but I have chosen you out of the world. Therefore, the world hateth you. So Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai literally brought us out of the world, man. And took us all the way to this point to where what? We know that we're Israelites. We know our nationality. We know the name of our power. Uh, we know the prophecies Amos 3 and 7 Surely the Most High will do nothing But he revealeth his secrets unto his servants the prophets The Most High literally gave us the knowledge, wisdom, and understanding, man That's how far he brought us And when you look at it, that's a beautiful thing, man you, We, we, we got to be thankful for those things, man We got to thank Yahweh by Shimei Shai every day Okay? But, um, so like it, but the world hated, hated you uh, John 15 and 20 Remember the world That I said unto you The servant is not greater than his Lord If they have persecuted me They will also persecute you If they have kept my saying They will keep yours also um, But all these things Will they do unto you for my name's sake Because they know not him that sent me I right, am from there I want to go to the book of Isaiah Because remember, man, Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai, like I said, he called us and we're fighting to be chosen. We're fighting to be a part of that hopeful elect, right? This is uh, Isaiah chapter 49, verse 6. This is one of my favorite scriptures. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. So Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shai brought us all this way to do what? He rose us up to be his servant and now he's using us to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to, and to uh, restore the preserved of Israel. So he's actually using us as righteous vessels, man. And what, what let me ask you brothers a question, man. What, what better things could we be doing other than doing this work? What being in the streets, smoking, <laughs> trying to trying to please the world. Come on, man. This this is the thing that we should be thankful for. That Yahweh Shimi Al Shai made us to be his servant. Alright? So going back to the topic of the video or the response, the Lord have brought us a long way, man. That was a beautiful topic. That was a beautiful title, man. Because you can you can do you can do a long lesson on that, man. Um Isaiah 49 and 6. And he said, it is a light thing that thou shouldest be my servant to raise up the tribes of Jacob and to restore the preserved of Israel. I also will give thee a light for the Gentiles that thou mayest be my salvation into the ends of the earth. And those Gentiles are Israelites because the Israelites were scattered in Deuteronomy 28 and 64. That was a curse that we will be scattered amongst all nations. 
That's why the scriptures say that thou uh, shall be my salvation unto the ends of the earth. So Yahweh Hashemi Yahweh Shai, okay, it's, it's a light thing that he raised us up so that we can go out there and wake up the elect of the nation of Israel, man. And to, uh, uh, what's it say? To, uh, pr to restore the preserved of Israel. All right, the Lord brought us a long way. He brought us from a filthy ass, uh, a, a dirty sponge. All right, and He cleaned us up <laughs> and made us a new living creature, man. Because we could still be in the world out there, just through ugly, you know, naked, not knowing who the hell we are, still calling ourselves African Americans, Latin. I'm Latino. Oh, I'm a, I'm an Indian. I'm a Native American. Instead, now, now what are you calling yourself? You calling yourself a Gadite? You calling yourself a, a, a Judite? Okay, an Ephraimite and etc. Because you're woke now. You know your nationality. All right, there was a Jake that came up to the camp today, which I'm gonna do a response on that. Talking about he he's a Muslim and he's a, a, a Filipino and Jamaican, nigga all over the damn place, man. You know he don't know we don't know where he don't know his right from his left. Matthew chapter 15 verse 14. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. So Yahweh Shai, what well, he made us, Yahweh Bashim Shai made us a light to the world. We weren't a light to the world when we was when we was in the world, filthy. We was just niggas in America. You going to college, you in, in different frats. You trying to you trying to make it to the damn NBA. Ultimately, what? So you could be a damn sellout. Not saying all NBA players are sellouts, but you know, man, just the things of this world. When you come, when you come into this truth and you understand the the, the meaning of the Bible, and, and you and you become a man of the Lord, you understand. You don't want to be nothing in this fucking world, man. Our job is to preach salvation. We we want to be saved. We want salvation, man. That's what we want. That's our goal is to be saved. Okay. Now, yeah, we go to work every day. You know, we do our thing, man. We take care of our families. We love our wives, etc. But the end, the end goal is salvation, man. That's what I'm trying to say. All right. We don't want to be nothing in this fucking world, man. Because Esau is controlling everything, and everything is tainted. All right. Ye are the light of the world. And to somebody in the world, you know, we'll sound like we'll sound crazy. Oh, them niggas, they they crazy. They ain't shit. Man, get the fuck out of here, man. Excuse my French. Ye are the light of the world. Matthew 5 and 14. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid. Neither do men light a candle and put it under a bushel, but a, but on a candlestick. And that's what we do when we go out there on the streets. We're we're, we're um, uplifting this knowledge, man. We putting this light on a candlestick. And that's another example of the Most High bringing us a long way. And it giveth, um, and it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men. That they may see your good works and glorify your father which is in heaven. Because the glory shouldn't go to us. The glory goes to Yahweh Ba Shimi Shai. The glory don't go to us. Alright? Because right now, you know, we're filthy rags still, man. But we're still better than Israelites in the world, man. And like I said, man, the water to Yahweh Ba Shimi Shai for bringing us this long way, man. And to be able to walk this beautiful walk. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works. And that they may glorify your father which is in heaven okay so i wanted to do a quick response to the to, to the brother's video you know i know he'll probably see it and share it but um yeah man look how far your how about shimia shai has brought us and we are to continue to be thankful man all right continue to be thankful and continue to push this truth and strive for the mastery all right so with that i want to say all praise honor and glory to your about shimia shai by hashim rakakwadash Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that taught us this truth once again. Peace and blessings and salutations to the elect. Lord willing, this is edifying. It's the brother Zion signing off. Shalom.